Good evening and welcome in to News Channel 10 Sports. High school football playoff action. 14 area teams going at it in the playoffs tonight. Let's get into the games. West Plains fans traveled well, packed the house tonight in Childress. First quarter, Reed Macon looking downfield and he finds his man, King Talent, who breaks a couple of tackles and keeps on going down the sideline all the way to the six yard line. A huge play for King Talent. And that sets up Jordy Hernandez, the star for West Plains, getting into the end zone 4 6. That was the opening score. And then back down by the goal line, it's Jordy Hernandez again. Another touchdown for the Wolves. West Plains rolls to a victory in this one. They're moving on to the next round. Glen Rose and Perryton going at it tonight as well in Iowa Park. Perryton fresh off the upset last week, but the Glen Rose passing attack shined in this one. Canyon Evans finds Camden Raymond down the field, shakes off a tackler. Actually, this is the Canyon game. Canyon and Estacado, rather, that was my mistake. Canyon here facing a big fourth down. They end up converting here. So Canyon, they had to bring out the measurement, but the Eagles end up picking it up, give the first, and then Sam Johnson takes it in for six. So Canyon would take the lead here, but Bobby Ross Jr. of Estacado came to play in this one. A big time run that sets up the Estacado Matadors inside the end zone and then it's Bobby Ross Jr. again another big run he takes that one into the end zone Estacado pulls away late they end up taking the victory in Canyon season comes to an end at nine and three meanwhile here's the Perryton game again fresh off that upset win in Iowa Park taking on Glen Rose tonight the Glen Rose passing attack shined in this one Canyon Evans finds Camden Raymond downfield shakes off a tackler and runs in for six Later, Evans looking for the screen to Josiah Groenweg, who finds the end zone as well. Perryton season comes to an end. They fall to Glen Rose in this one, 70 to 13. This next one thought to be one of the games of the night coming in. Number 10 Sunray facing off against number three New Home. In the first, it was Armando Lujan showing why he's one of the best dual threats in the Panhandle, powering through, diving in for the touchdown. Is the first score of the night. Later, it's Lujan again breaking out of a tackle, dragging defenders an extra 15 yards for a big time gain. Later in the drive, Lujan looking down the field and it's going to be picked off by Graham Keyes. But New Home's offense just struggled to get things going tonight as Sunray comes out on top 28 to 7 to advance. Number two, Canadian and early out at Friendship. Wildcat ball. Senior Cameron Cavalier, no one scores touchdowns like Canadians QB. Russian score to open things up. The early Longhorns on their second drive. This touchdown pass going from Roan Price to Weston Barton as they tie things up in the first. Back the other way, Cavalier dumps it underneath to Max Dumbald as he's up the sideline. Tight ropes his way across the goal line for the score. Canadian wins big once again, 77-22 to move on. Next up, Dalhart against Paradise. Dalhart looking to get the offense going. Hunter Trussler gets the handoff as he powers through the Paradise defense for the first down. Later, Kyla Reed tries to run the play action, but Paradise not fooled at all as Kobe Dickens comes in for the sack. Paradise gets the ball back. Dalhart looking to stay in it. An angel of Valos with the pick, but the Wolves ultimately fall in this one, 61 to 14. Number four, Stratford versus Stamford from Lubbock Cooper. Elks Bryce Braden on the QB keeper, avoids the tackle. He keeps going. Great run for the first, but that drive would end up stalling out. Slow going in the first half. Bulldogs with the ball now. Jared Brady brought down, or was he? He gets right back up. They say he never touched the ground. Goes all the way in for the score to tie things up at seven. Stratford looking for a late score in the first half. Braden over the middle to chase Latin me, but that would not go anywhere, and the first half would end. Ultimately, though, Stratford dominates in the second half. They win it 22 to 7. Number six, Holly facing off against Panhandle from Maui Field. Six nothing Bearcats here. Panhandle finds Landon Durst, and he gets creative, takes it across the field, making people miss. Breaking out of tackles as he gets closer to the goal line and goes all the way on a crazy play 
into the end zone for the score. Two point try was good, 8 6 Panthers, but the Bearcats back the other way as Landon Sykora shows off the speed untouched for the touchdown. Holly ends up taking down Panhandle, a great Panhandle season, but they fall in this one 52 to 16. And Miami, number eight Miami, coming in undefeated, facing Spring Lake Earth in the first. Hayden Thompson looking deep, finds Micah Henshaw in the end zone for the touchdown. Miami with the lead. Spring Lake Earth now looking to attack, and it's JJ Paramio escaping this, the Miami defender, scrambling around, runs through multiple players on defense all the way in for the score. Miami with the ball back, looking for the end zone again, but this time it is picked off by Froylan Agundes, but Miami still ends up coming out on top, staying undefeated and moving on 42 to 34. Here's a look at some of the other scores from around the area. Happy, the only one of our area teams seen here advancing. They hand Knox City, the number two ranked team in the state, their first loss of the year. Meanwhile, Tascosa and Randall both falling 41 to nothing and 37 to 10. Farwell losing 42-14 and Walt just edging out Childress 21 to 14.